So, what happened to that 3.8 pound weight loss from week 19 when I went to Dallas last week? Stay tuned to find out. In our appearance-driven social system, toxic productivity and diet culture are considered especially heinous. In Denver, Colorado, a dedicated goal-getter seeking to crush these vicious lies is the founder of an elite squad known as Heal Thy Spirit. These are her stories. Hello everyone, I am Tia. I am in the car on my way to donate plasma because you know, you got to do what you got to do to pay for that Zepbound. Um, so I apologize, the lighting's probably off. I'm not going to be really looking at the camera obviously because I'm driving a car. But I am in the car and I'm on my way to um, donate plasma. <laughs> And I figured I'd give you the week 20 update um, because I don't know when else I'll have time to record it because I have quite a bit of homework to do um, tonight. But I did have um, a good week in, in general. Um, I went to Dallas for a work trip. We had a friend in town from Maryland, um, Vaughn's best friend actually, and he was here the whole weekend up until um, Labor Day. And then Tuesday, I flew out to Dallas for this um, work trip. And I also got to visit with my best friend who happens to live in Dallas now. So um, the week started out, well, the first thing was I forgot my scale. And you guys know that I weigh every single day. Um, and again, not because I'm obsessed with it, but because it keeps me on track. And you know, when I get off track, then it gives me an opportunity to kind of course correct um, before it's too far gone. So anyway, I couldn't, I weighed Tuesday morning before I went to the airport, but did not weigh on Wednesday and Thursday. All good. Um, the one thing, if you don't know, I live in Denver, Colorado, and surprisingly the sun is not out, you know, attacking me. So that's why the lighting is off. It looks a little cloudy today, which is weird. Um, in Denver, you know, they call us the Mile High City because we're one mile closer to the sun with the higher elevation. And a lot of um, athletes actually come out here to train because it's harder to exercise with at the higher elevation. So when I moved from Virginia to Denver, I did not, um, I didn't really notice any kind of difference I just thought when I got here you know I'm out of shape I mean I was already exercising I've been exercising pretty regularly for several years um you know not losing weight though <laughs> um hence the zip down however I um I when I went to Dallas you know that's back at sea level so I had it in my mind that I was going to exercise. I knew there was a gym in the hotel. And typically my rest day is Thursday. So I normally exercise every single day of the week except for Thursday. I'm training for that 5K and um, I run on Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday are my running days and I typically do HIIT or strength training. Well, I always do strength training um, when I exercise on the other days and Thursday is just usually the day that if I don't feel like it, I just don't. Um, so anyway, flew out to Dallas on Tuesday. Then, <coughs> excuse me, flew to Dallas on Tuesday. So I didn't exercise because I left for the airport at like, 4:45 a.m. or something like that or that was the goal anyway um, <laughs> and because I had a very early flight and so obviously by the airport walking I was like I got my steps and I think I had 10,000 steps over 10,000 steps on Tuesday because you always get that on air, airport days if anybody um, knows anything <laughs> about traveling um, and then Wednesday morning when I got up I um did my run on the treadmill and the funny thing was when I was on the treadmill now for reference when I'm here at home running on the treadmill I run 
at about 4.2, 4.3, sometime, most of the time, um, on the treadmill. That's like a comfortable, not comfortable, but it's what I can manage at this stage in my running life journey. And when I was got on the treadmill Wednesday morning in Dallas, I was running, I pushed it up to 4.2, and then I kept going, because I was like, this treadmill has to be broken. Like, I just kept pumping it up and, you know, got up to 4.8, and I could have gone higher, but I was afraid that, you know, I don't know. I just didn't try it. I should have. Um, but anyway, got up, to, ran on 4.8 the whole time because... Um, Apparently, it is easier to exercise at lower elevation. I thought, thought I was Superwoman. It was like literally the first time I've ever run on a treadmill and finished and felt like, huh, that wasn't too bad. I could do this. I don't hate it. <laughs> but then I came home and, you know, ran on Sunday and <laughs> not so much. Um, so anyway, that was that. Um, Wednesday night, I did pretty well with my eating. I always track. I'm um, over 600 day, consecutive days of tracking on my fitness pal. So regardless of whether I stick to my calorie count or not, I um, always put it in the tracker. And just, you know, for the accountability and such. And I, um, Wednesday night, we had, we went to this place. <laughs> I think it's called DeLuca's Pizza. It's it's kind of like CeCe's Pizza for adults, um, but the pizza's really good. It's uh, much higher quality than CeCe's, and they had open bar. So I drank two spicy margaritas, and for reference, um, I don't drink a lot, but I do drink um, on occasion, and as long as I've been on Zepbound, I have not had experienced any issues or problems um, when I drink alcohol. So I know that some people cannot drink alcohol while taking um, the GLP-1 or GIP medications, um, but I do not have that issue. Good thing is I don't also don't drink a lot, so it doesn't, you know, I really don't have a desire. It's usually just when I go out. And I did have, I had a couple of drinks. Um, we went to karaoke with Ron's friend was here from Maryland last week. And so I did have two drinks that night and no issues. And I've drank a couple of times. I had a drink at the Janet Jackson concert back in June. That was the first time I drank since I started Zep Bound um, in April. And I was nervous, <laughs> but um, I decided to have a drink and it was fine. Um, so got that out of the way, but I ate y'all so much food and it's crazy because there's only, there's one person that I work with that knows, um, that I'm on Zepbound because she actually messaged me be, like one day randomly and was like, are you losing weight? And, you know, granted I work from home, so I don't see my coworkers unless I, um, you know, over Zoom, like in meetings and stuff. And it made me feel really good that day because she noticed at that point I had lost 25 pounds and she noticed just from seeing this part of me <laughs> on the Zoom. So that was exciting. But anyway, she sat next to me at dinner on Tuesday night and she was like, that's all you're going to eat? And I'm like, yeah, it's really all I can eat. And I had like, we had like a, we went to this go-kart place and that was actually really fun. Um, and I, it was some, somewhat of a workout. Like I could feel, it's like hard turning the wheels. Like I was, you know, pretty, pretty sore from that. Um, but it was, it was fun. And then at dinner we had, I didn't have anything alcoholic that night, but we had, they had like a buffet set out and there was vegetables, like um, roasted vegetables, salad, um, they had beef brisket and chicken, something I don't really remember what it was, but I just had like a little taste of everything and mashed potatoes that you could, you know, add cheese and bacon to. Um, and I just had a couple bites of that, but she was looking at my plate like I was a weirdo. Um, but you know, that's all I could eat. <laughs> and, um, 
then on, like I said, fast forward back to Wednesday night, we went to this pizza place, which is all you can eat pizza, and they have all these different kinds of pizza. Um, and I, I'll, I'll put a picture of all the pizza that I didn't eat because I got smart and realized that I should just take a bite if I wanted to taste a different kind and not eat the crust. <laughs> so I have a whole pile, but I'm sure I ate like, and they were little tiny pieces. They weren't, you know, like full size pizzas. They were like just little tiny slices. Um, but still on a normal day, I probably would have had two or three pieces if I was, you know, behaving, <laughs> so to speak. But I was like, you know, it's work dinner, they're covering it, and I've never been to this place before. And also, there's no good pizza in Denver. Like, like the East Coast pizza, I miss it <laughs> so much. Even though I don't eat it that often, it's still, when you want good pizza, you want good pizza. But anyway, I'm just rambling again. Um, so, I ate so much pizza and had the two spicy margaritas, which were delicious. Um, Thursday morning, I got up and I worked out with my team. Um, not my coworker team. Well, there were some people, which that was another weird thing, is being in the gym in my sweats and having like my coworkers see me. That was weird. But I still did, you know, it was more important to get the workout in than it was to worry about what anybody in the gym was thinking <laughs> of Tia in a tank top and leggings. So I did my workout on Thursday. That was strength training. It was super hard. I had to use 15 pound weights, which I use 15 pounds at home sometimes, especially when I'm doing like squats and deadlifts and stuff like that, like leg exercises. I t tend to um, use heavier weights, but most of the time I'm using like 12 or 12 and a half but they were missing. Like they had 10 and they had 15. And I was like, well, I'm not gonna do 10. So I just did 15. And I made it through the workout, it was fine. But I was sore y'all, like for, until Saturday. When I did my workout on Saturday, which was also a strength training workout, I was still sore from Thursday. It was insane. Um, so I did, did that workout, burned over 500 calories according to the Apple Watch. Um, and so there was that Friday. I came, well, I came home Thursday night. That was a whole other debacle. My suitcase, I'll put the picture up here, got destroyed. So I had to file a claim with American airlines because I don't know how it looks like they set my suitcase on fire and also ruined a pair of my Adidas. So I was not happy about that. So I'll keep you posted on um, how much they reimbursed me to replace my suitcase that was like maybe a year old, like a Samsonite suitcase. I mean, it wasn't super fancy, but it was Samsonite and it was only a year old. Um, but it's in bad shape. <laughs> and so dealt with that, get home super late Thursday night. Friday, I have to work on Friday morning. I get up, I don't do my workout because I got home, I got to bed like probably about 12.30 on Friday and um, went straight to sleep. Got up Friday morning um, a little bit. No, I got up about the regular time. I just didn't feel like working out, so I didn't. Um, so I only worked out five days last week instead of six, but that's still great. Then Saturday did my workout with the same girls that I work out with every morning on Zoom. Um, but it's only a 30 minute workout on Saturday. Thank God, because I was so sore. And then get on the scale on Sunday, which was yesterday. Gained 3.8 pounds, the exact amount <laughs> that, I went, that I lost last week, gained it back to the 0.8. So I weighed in at 215 pounds last Sunday. And then yesterday I weighed in at 218.8. This morning when I got on the scale, I had dropped down the 218.6. So, I mean, it's basically like nothing has changed <laughs> over the last two weeks. I'm at net zero. Um, I'm not concerned about it, um, partially because 
the colonoscopy is this week. So I know that towards the end of the week, I'm going to be on liquids. Um, and, you know, oddly today, um, I thought that I was going to be starving, but I'm making sure I'm basically just acting like I did have the shot. I got up this morning and did my protein coffee, um, which is like 50 grams of protein or 30 something if you don't count the collagen as protein. Um, and then I uh, make, I tried those clean, simple eats, I think is the name of the brand. Um, Countess of Shopping had a coupon code, so I figured I'd try it. I mean, I break my own clear protein most days, but I was like, it'd be nice to have something that's already made that you could just crack the can open. And it tastes pretty good, but for the price point, you know, I'm okay with mixing up my own clear protein. So then I had that um, that I sipped on throughout the day. Two cans of that, I just poured it in my big um, stainless steel cup with ice and you know the ice melted because it wasn't refrigerated already um so i had that and then for lunch i had leftovers from last night which was um barbecue cheddar meatloaf bites and i put in all the calories i used 93 7 lean um ground beef and it has like bacon i use reduced fat cheese um and then seasonings and I think that's about it but anyway I just use I cut the recipe in half because it's just me and Vaughn and so it made four little mini meatloaves or four servings and that's 397 calories and 39 grams of protein um, so I had that for lunch today another one of those um, for lunch and green beans and like two ounces I actually weighed it two ounces of red skin mashed potatoes that I made myself and I actually used um, my Fairlife protein milk <laughs> when I mixed it up I did put real butter but um, I used real butter and the Fairlife protein milk to mix it up and that's what I had for lunch but I, I struggled with actually getting it down um, so I thought that was odd because I hadn't eaten any solid food. I'd only had the, the uh, protein coffee and the been sipping on my protein water for most of the day. So, I mean, I think there is stock in one, the medicine does stay in your system because this today is Monday. So I had my last shot a week ago, Friday. So that's Friday would make it day eight that I should have had another shot nine ten so today is it's been 11 days since i had a shot and there's still some or some uh restriction or appetite satiety so that was weird i did finish it though because i already plugged in everything that i'm eating today for my calories and if i eat everything on my calorie list i'll be just over 1300 calories for day for today with 150 some odd grams of protein. Um, and I think that that helps to keep me full. Um, so that's where I am with the update. I kind of looked back because it didn't feel like I had really overeaten that much um, on the three days that I was there. But when I went back and looked at my fitness pal this morning, um, my average for last week was about 1800 calories a day which is a lot but still I exercise five days and you know typically burn three to five hundred calories per workout um and I hit eight thousand steps almost every day but the scale says I still gained <laughs> the three pounds that I thought were 3.8 almost four pounds um and I was really surprised because when I went to on vacation at the beginning of July I ate everything in sight um did not exercise other than a lot of walking um there was a couple days that we did like 20,000 steps um while we were there but I only gained 0.6 pounds and I did take my scale with me as well so I don't know it is what it is um the things that I noticed I did eat um, a lot more carbs than I normally do. I'm not on any sort of low carb 
plan or anything like that. I just kind of eat what I want to eat and pay attention or track what it is. Um, but my carbs averaged about 93 grams a day more than what they typically are. And I did. I had cookies. Um, they had sandwiches for lunch um, on two different days, which I rarely ever eat like bread. Um, not because I don't like it. I just, you know, don't have it often. Um, my sugar, I was still below my target goal because I try to do like 30, 30, what is my macros? 30 grams or 30%, not grams, 30% carbs, 30% fat and whatever the difference to make up to 100 in protein. Um, and I still stayed under the sugar goal, but it was still like double what I normally consume in sugar in a week. Um, my fat was about 26 grams a day over. Again, I don't really watch fat. I just know what the numbers are because I track everything. And um, yeah, so that's it. Um, no shot on Friday. We did our normal calzone. Friday, every Friday we get calzones, but now I only eat half a calzone instead of a whole one, which is probably, and I have no idea what the calories are in that, but this is like my normal Friday night meal. Um, went to the movies on Saturday, and I did have popcorn, and I also had chicken, chicken tenders, and then dinner I ate the other half of my calzone. Um, and so then on Sunday was a normal day. I ate like my normal 1,400 calories or so. So that's the update for the week. Um, yesterday, I was under the weather. That's why I didn't record. I had a toothache, which was the oddest thing because it's on a tooth that I've actually had work done on that tooth before. About six months ago was the last time. And there's like no crack. I think I've probably eaten popcorn at the movies, like crack something because it hurt really bad. And I think it caused me to have an excruciating migraine that lasted from Saturday afternoon, about the time that we got out of the movies, up until last yesterday. And Sunday is the worst day for me to be under the weather because that's my homework day. So I have to actually use my brain and think because of course I wait till the last minute and try to do all my assignments for six classes that I'm taking um, all in one day, the day that they're due. Um, and I miss my turn because I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> but um, long story short, I took um, BC powder first thing in the morning, but I, I was on an empty stomach, so that came back up. <clears throat> After I ate, I took two Excedrin migraine, did absolutely nothing for me, which normally that works like that. Attempted to take a BC again a couple hours later. No, no success. Then finally took two a leave. And the problem is with my lap band, I'm not supposed to take anything except Tylenol. No NSAIDs or whatever they're called. Um, because of the lap band, it can cause you to have stomach ulcers. So, but that's how bad my head was hurting. Like I had to take something of strength. So I took the Aleve and it finally, I got some relief. And then by the time I went to bed, I felt better. I took two more Aleve before I went to bed and woke up this morning and I was like completely back to normal. It was the weirdest thing. Um, and my tooth doesn't hurt. So anyway, that is the update on me. We got some good news. Um, my other half has decided to take, to start Zepmail as well. And we're on the same insurance, but he also has high blood pressure and asthma. And his BMI is just, was just right at 40.5. So my insurance won't cover it for me. When I first started, my BMI was 39.5 and they would not increase it. Um, I mean, they wouldn't like round up or cover me because it wasn't over 40. But they're covering his. So picked up his prescription on Friday. 
for $25 with the coupon that I had downloaded literally two days before they changed the rule about it being $550 or $650 versus $550. And um, I don't know, it's just crazy um, how that happened. So he gets his for $25. So that makes me happy that we are only paying out of pocket the $550 um, for, for me. Um, so that's some good news, a non-scale victory, um, if you will, for the week. And yeah, that's all I got for you. So I will upload another couple of videos. He's out of town this week, so I'll have a little more time, assuming I get my homework done and whatnot, um, to, you know, check in with you guys. So have a great day and remember to heal thy spirit for a healthy spirit. I hope may grace and peace be yours in abundance. Take care.